We're at Hawk Pride Off-Road Park and you are watching the Great American Crawl. The difficulty level starts the easiest to hardest. So you just, you just keep walking until you don't feel comfortable anymore. <laughs> I liked, I liked it, man, that's a badass park. You gonna make it straight? No, I'll hit the, I'll hit the same line that that guy did. I've been here a few times, but I'm not a local. Oh, okay. He's, oh, that's right. Of course, you're not a local. Yeah, he's we're, like we're down in. We're the Miami boys out here. He's like me. We're from Florida, but he gets the uh, luxury of traveling up here more often than I do, at least. They were they were great for our trail guides. So they've been here, hosted events, and they knew the park. We know how to give a good time. It turned out from the last time that we were here, we went to do double ledges, and the last time mm -hmm. I was here, that was actually like a cakewalk. It was super easy. <laughs> yeah. For some people. <laughs> yeah, and then when we got there, we saw the two buggies like struggling on it, and I was like, like, shit, that's, it got worse. So I lined up on it, couldn't get it. I haven't heard a lot about this park. And when I got there, I saw that, like the kind of the setup they had. Yeah. I was like, all right, so this kind of reminded me a little bit of Choco Loco. Yeah, the way it's, yeah. Right, um, without all the water. I guess it had downpoured right before that. The day before. Yeah. yeah. And so I was worried that it was going to be a mud hole out there, but the park surprised me. As soon as you pull out of the parking lot, you're dropping it on main trails, yeah. and there's just offshoots of trails. And everything was pretty well laid marked. out. Yeah. yeah, and everything flowed smooth. Robert our ambassador, CJ yeah. Bucket of Bolts. And that was the first time I really got to see him wheel. And I've always thought he wheeled a lot like Trey. Yeah. But I feel like he, they're literally twins with yeah. their CJs Identical. and the way they wheel and everything. They're very like slow wheel speed, nothing crazy. They like their technical stuff. So I, I'm excited to try to get those two together. Yeah. That's gonna be a good time. Yeah. Trail hero. It is. After that, we went to Merlin. Yeah. That, we, that went south towards the end pretty quick. Was that the That was Long a Creek? huge rock garden. The first one that we did was pretty the tough. The Long Creek yeah. with the, the trail on the side? Yeah. Okay. Merlin was impressive. I wish I would have actually had a Jeep here that would fit down Merlin. Yeah, it, it is a tight creek. It's a, they're like pretty much old creek beds, so you there was no way you were going to make it in there. The East Coast was definitely fat shaming the, yeah. the big rigs. <laughs> <laughs> the gridlock and uh, and Andy had a little tough time trying to fit through everything with those those big wide. Yeah, you know, yeah Andy. Andy is, and, did Andy even get in there? I don't think he even attempted it, which nah, it was, was probably smart on his part because on top of the 46s being like 20 inches wide, um, his yacht would not have turned around or he couldn't have made the the turns. I did a very short section of it in gridlock, and I had trouble, and I, I bailed out. Yeah, it I heard it wasn't radio. happening. Yeah.
<laughs> it was great because everybody had a good bypass. Yeah. So everybody could go on the trail with us. And uh, it was really good wheeling because there was a lot of rocks in there. Traction was decent in there. Uh, there was a couple holes with some water, but for the most part, it was good. Yeah, so the first trail we jump into, Merlin, that reminded me of like Cripple Creek. Yeah. It, West Virginia, except without all the water. Yeah, I didn't yeah. even go down in that one because there, there was a no. few spots. There was just no. I, I walked over to you and I was yeah. like, no. Yeah, it was like, just too narrow. For yeah, me. we're not, we're not going to spend the next three and a half <laughs> yeah. hours. And if we are, it's not going to be because of yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. My reverse is messed up. I don't have reverse. Or it was making noise. You could hear it was really, you know, it was revving up, but he wasn't going anywhere. And then it was, we all kind of like turned the music down, like, wait a minute. That's not, that's not right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but I can't go in reverse. Robert just got out of the shop with his Jeep. It just had like a, a couple things done to it, uh, including the transmission. This was one of his shakedown runs for, for a few different things. Um, the first obstacle was super impressive because he was able to walk it. Yeah. He didn't have to back up. He didn't have to do anything. Well, come to find out the second obstacle where he actually had to back up a little bit, he didn't have reverse. Yeah, but he um, also had, he had an oil leak. He had some other things going on. Yeah. He just didn't think they were serious and then they bit him in the butt at the wrong time. It is big. It's a lot bigger than I thought. There were a lot of people here and didn't see another car all day other than our, our group, which is good. I wasn't sure what to expect. I've been to a couple other parks in the area. It had some good rock. It had some little bit of mud, a little bit. We got lucky with that. The thing is, I have zero steering, so I know. this is all going to be hard. Oh, good. And that's, why, that's why we put it this way. I know. So it's going to pull you. Pull you you'll get in there. I got you. Yeah, the track That was bracket. one of your buddies. <laughs> yeah, so Nathan has the 4BD, 4BT Cummins, and I think what happened was is that he bumped it, slid to the side, and then it just sheared the whole bracket off. And it actually took off the metal off the housing. But luckily, all the people at Great American Crawl, Jason, the guy yeah. with the white buggy, yeah. that was sending it, he had a flux core welder and we were able to grind it up, heat it up really good and then do a couple passes and Nathan was yeah. able to make it. Well, it's got no gas in it. Oh. And I was making a right turn and Someone planted this tree like last second in front of me. It was crazy. <laughs> and, but I bumped the tree with the bumper really hard. Two seconds after I hit the tree, like a 20 pound log just boom. <laughs> Holy shit. But yeah, I drove gridlock and that was the first time I've actually wheeled it. And it's a night and day difference from anything I'm ever used to. Yeah, to I'd feel so. how that thing moves on 46s, yeah. it, was, it was a little odd.
fabric. That was a little bit bigger, no? I don't remember, man. I didn't know I had to pay attention. I sit in line and I wait patiently to move. Yeah. Okay. Put that in there. The real end of Maverick is actually the Rock Bouncer Race Hill, where they usually do like, they'll do like a couple turns in between and that's actually the hill where they fly up and the bouncers just, they, they send it up and just, they go airborne and clear it. Yeah. But it, it's actually a trail that you could exit and try to crawl on a buggy. Rock Buggy got in there <laughs> and he ended up in like a 30 minute situation just trying to like play with the rear steer and honestly it was probably a really good opportunity to get used to the rear steer for him but it was just like the rocks were the size the rocks were the size of the bug Anything I've gotten myself into with the bug, I can usually get myself out of. And that was one situation where I was like, ooh, this is not, like, this is not fun. There wasn't any getting through it. He ended up, I don't know how it happened. He ended up getting turned all the way around oh, and coming back out. Oh, had to snatch out. block him and everything. Yeah. It was, it was a mission. It was a little him. recovery effort, but uh, it, was, it was good. We threw a line on, did our normal thing with the Factor 55 pulley and our winch lines from Warren and got it to a safe place, maneuvered it around, took a little bit, unhooked it. What do you think of this thing? I like it. I like it a lot. And it's, I'm not one of those, I don't usually walk up and like poke my head around other people's stuff and other builds, but I like it. I've wanted a Beatles since I was a little kid flipping through J.C. Whitney's catalog like, I'm going to do that and I'm going to do that and yeah, I like it. <laughs> So it's not like a normal obstacle boat ramp. It's a man-made, it's just a bunch of slabs. And it's a good, like at the end of the bouncer race, when they come out Maverick, they actually go airborne out of that too. But we got to test like how good the stickies were working, how good the, the 44s and the Baja Pros were working.
So when you and me got in there, um, yeah, too easy. I'm like, oh, that's too easy. When you're a limousine, it's not too easy. It was nothing too easy about it. Andy's crack. Yes. So we went to Andy's crack. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the good news is I did not have Mexican the night before. Yes. Because <laughs> that would have been horrible. So Fatty's crack is on the whole opposite end of the park. It's not hard, but it could be hard in the wrong rig or with like not without a spotter, like without pr like prior experience. Yeah, I could see that. Because you, it's just, there's so many options to hit different lines. Show me what you got.
the trails here, they have longer runs of more consistent obstacles. You, you know what I mean? Where you're hitting boulder, 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 boulder. Basically the floorboard turned into a big puddle of uh, power steering fluid. Turns out that one of the power steering lines um, to the cooler actually it just cracked from the heat and uh, it was blowing power steering fluid because it's under pressure um, all over the engine bay and it was actually coming up through a hole in the, oh, in wow. the, in the firewall and it was building up. I probably had a quart of of uh, power steering fluid in the bottom of the floorboard. Luckily, we got we caught it in time, and uh, it smelled for a little while, but we got that fixed. It was super easy. Now, if I told you <laughs> you'd be waiting on rock buggy and gridlock today, I bet you'd tell me. You're out of your goddamn mind. I was, like, in my head, I'm like, damn, like, should I take these nice rigs in here? I'm like, eh, what, why not? Like, we did it. We're here to, we're here to party. Yeah, we're, we're here to party, so might as well. But. Yep. And then everyone else like just walked it, walked it, walked it. And I was impressed because I've never seen so many rigs hit that line mm -hmm. with basically no issues. Yeah. So it was pretty, it was impressive. Yes, Friday was great. Like it yeah. was so much riding and riding and riding, and it was just, it, it was smooth. Yeah, it everyone really had maps well. and everything. There was no traffic, which was great. And then usually what we do with our events with the shop is we'll make them so they get gradually harder, like he said. Mm -hmm. And it's just to get people like, 
kind of like they they get more comfortable in their rigs. Yeah, you get more confident with the terrain you're on. You get you know you get confident with your rig, and it, it's it's a good time. Danny did great. I didn't know that that was. I never really thought about what goes into coordinating the groups and the trails and the. And that's we actually spoke for a minute. I was telling him, you know, how well it was all working. He's like, uh, yeah, that was me, basically. I'm like, oh, well, you did good. No more steering in. Sideways, bro. I heard it right now too. Again? Yeah. Right there. Oh, your track bar just broke off? Again. You're leaning with it. Mother. We had a large group of wide rigs. So it's like, I'm usually the widest in my group of friends. And they all laugh and mock me when I try and squeeze through. And knowing we got the snow plow running behind me, I didn't have to worry this time. All right, if gridlock makes it, if overkill makes it, I'm fine. So that's like a bonus <laughs> line to commandments, but it is a separate trail. It's called slip and slide. And it, it's kind of like a waterfall. Like it's just, it's got water That's coming a, down. It's super muddy at the bottom. It's, it's an got, accurate name. Yeah, once you, <laughs> when you line up on it, you have to go go through water to get wet. Yep. And you have to bump it to get up. Like I don't think yeah. anyone Friday crawled it up. I don't think, I don't think so. So you tell me about that, like how was that? Cause it you didn't was, have a rear locker again, right? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. We were just we were just horsepower and through that thing. Um, it wasn't bad. I mean, it, I was worried it was gonna feel a lot sketchier than it did. It wasn't I, bad. It, it never felt bad. It wasn't bad. Through. Didn't feel bad. It sounded good. His LT4 was <laughs> redlining. <laughs> Yeah, 
that uh, I gave it a good bump uh, in gridlock and uh, the steering shaft, just the jolt on the on the rocks there, he kind of ripped the steering column yeah, off. You were sitting in the seat and you were just like throwing the wheel in a circle. And I'm like, yo, what's going on? <laughs> and you're like, there's no steering. And Nick looked at you and he was like, he ripped the steering wheel column <laughs> through the firewall. And this thing is welded and like put in place. <laughs> it's not funny. Friday was good. We actually we got back and everybody was everybody was driving. Nobody was you know was broken. Everybody was able to drive back for the most part. Um, we got back before dark. Nobody was stuck out here at night. Uh, was th there was there was there was there was like three rigs out there of ours. Yeah, no, not of us, but yeah, of, other, of other group. trail guys. Yeah, um, but our group made it. Our in group, one piece. yeah, we all made it in before dark. Yeah, um, it was a great day. That was that was a really really fun like day of wheeling. It was smooth, no no issues. And it was just like that's all that's all you could ask for on a trip. Yeah, it was perfect.